cooking doc here and I've got a special salad treat for you today. We're going to be taking some ingredients that you may never have put together and we're going to make a salad out of it and we're going to serve it in a presentation that is kind of artistic. It's kind of cool. Uh, we're going to be using cucumbers, avocado, beets, and then a little bit of a lime dressing. Beets are a very interesting ingredient and if you look on the internet there are tons of health claims about how beets affect your health anything from curing cancer to making your blood pressure lower. And they've actually been studied extensively in the medical literature. I have a related video on my website that can tell you exactly what my thoughts are about beets and how they affect your health. But today we're gonna to just talk about how they affect your taste buds and how to use them in a delicious salad. Let's start with our dressing. This is a simple dressing, three ingredients. We've got some garlic, so a chopped clove of garlic in our bowl. We've got the juice of one lime. And we've got some extra virgin olive oil. Simple, simple vinaigrette. Now we're not gonna use all this dressing, but it's easier to make a larger amount than a smaller amount. We are gonna serve this salad in a tomato. And you want a biggish tomato, that's a little bit firm. This is an heirloom tomato, which really holds the flavors very well. And we are going to chop off the top of that tomato and hollow it out. Be careful not to cut through the side of the tomato because then your dressing will leak all the way out. So what's going to happen with this salad when you serve it in here is this tomato is going to be the vessel for all the dressing. And you're going to just going to be able to cut up your little bowl, which is a tomato, and eat that along with your salad. Okay, we've got a mini cuke here. If you don't have a mini cucumber, you can use a large cucumber. We just wanna make sure we cut it up into small bits. And I'm kinda of doing an every other stripe here on the peel, which leaves a little texture to the cucumber when you put it in this. Also leaves a little dark green color. Once we've peeled it, we're gonna cut it up into small cubes. Okay, the next ingredient is our avocado, and we're gonna also cut that into small pieces so it's easier to eat with this salad. So the avocado cutting technique, cut it down the center there, twist it. We've got half here that we want to use. Take a knife that's not too sharp because you don't want to poke through the edge. Cut some thin little strips here and then we will scoop out the flesh. So we've got our tomato. We're gonna to put a little bit of salt at the bottom of the tomato and then we're gonna start putting our cucumber in. So we're gonna put the cucumber here on one side. We're gonna put some avocado in on the other side. So we've kinda of got avocado on one side, cucumber on the other, and then we're gonna put beet right in the middle. Now, I have to go to work later today, so I'm gonna to try to cut this beet up without staining my shirt and without using my hands. And we only need a few pieces of beet, so I'm just gonna use one slice here. Now, I've roasted these beets in the oven at 375 and if you check out my website there's a little bit more detail about how we get such nice tender beets and how we make them very easy to skin. We're going to try to put this beet right in the middle here. Now let's top this with our lime vinaigrette. A little stir. Now this is just going to permeate all of the flavors here all the way down to the tomato. Let's top with a sprinkle of salt. A little bit of goat cheese. If you want to use a little feta, you could as well. And then, if you got any fresh herbs, sometimes some fresh herbs will really kind of brighten up the flavor and serve it with a little basil on the side or whatever you got around the house. And that's it, a really easy salad that is full of nutrients and flavor and freshness. I've also made it kind of fun, right? So we put it in the tomato here. This is the extent of my artistic abilities, so please don't judge me, but it tastes so good. And we're gonna cut it up using a steak knife so you can kind of get all these flavors together. Okay, now here comes the best part. We cut it open and all that artistic work goes out the window, but the flavors come together in a fantastic way. Mmm, that's so good. Thanks for joining us for this pretty little dish and we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching The Cooking Doc. Healthy cooking made simple and delicious. 